Hello everyone. Uh, so recently, uh, like uh, a few days ago, I received this uh, package, uh, more like a letter or something. But it contains something interesting. I've already opened it, so I'm going to show you as well. So this package contains this thing. Oh, oh that was correct. So this is a card, uh, not an ordinary card. Uh, it's basically a numberless card. Also, uh, it has uh, NFC, uh, which allows you to uh, uh, use contactless payment method. But check this out. This is pretty dope. Like this. Check this out. <laughs> let me do that again. Uh, let me hold it like this. I do it like this. And this now this is pretty dope uh, this is powered by MasterCard and uh, basically the company that's doing it here in Pakistan it's called Sada Pay Sada is, uh, stands for like simple so they did it like this this is of course a debit card and it has my name on it as you can see it doesn't have any numbers so it's pretty safe like you can use it in public you could use other cards in public as well, but uh, the problem with, uh, with those was that, uh, like, uh, they could like steal your number, and uh, pretty scary things could happen. We all know that about that. So I'm gonna show you this card in detail. I'm gonna put that like that, and this is the card. Uh, let me just. Uh, I hope it's it doesn't want to zoom in uh, like this uh, proximity but I hope this is clear okay so this is the chip or whatever you say and this is the uh, what is called uh, like the symbol for NFC my name and it's pretty safe on the back it has some code on it which I'm not gonna show probably it's not good but it has this link one and whatever it is okay all that out of the way this is my founders club card that's why I uh, got it a little earlier what you have to do is just uh, sign up and invite 10 members uh, which you could also as well and they're rolling out uh, these black cards for now I uh, as far as I remember but uh, they'll be rolling out the green cards as well okay so we'll talk about the theory about RFID and NFC and how that works and how safe it is and all that good stuff so let's get started first of all we'll talk about RFID what is RFID uh, the name indicates RFID RF stands for radio Frequency ID stands for identification as I uh, written on here So uh, I'm gonna tell you about the frequencies uh, it uses so uh, The frequencies uh, it uses mostly is like uh, 125 kilohertz. So LF 13.56 megahertz. So HF uh, and the ultra high frequency range is 433 megahertz to 928 megahertz um, uh, not most of it uh, like it's used but it is there it is in RF uh, like range and then we go from 2.4 gigahertz to uh, 6 gigahertz uh, this is the microwave range uh, 2 over 2.4 as I explained earlier is in the Wi-Fi mostly used for Wi-Fi and 5 gigahertz as well used for Wi-Fi uh, and the new spectrum just opened up uh, like in the Wi-Fi 6E it is the uh, 6 gigahertz which is even faster but this is not a Wi-Fi video but uh, uh, this is where it's used so now we are going for uh, 3 gigahertz to 10.5 uh, gigahertz so uh, this is basically used for very sensitive uh, purposes uh, so basically how that works is that uh, the RFID reader uh, is connected to a uh, coil 
the RFID reader indu induces a sinusoidal voltage uh, which produces magnetic field and whenever the uh, RFID tag comes into the magnetic field of the uh, RFID reader uh, this voltage uh, is induced uh, is in this voltage induces a, another voltage it's also sinusoidal voltage and that uh, runs a uh, sinusoidal current uh, runs through uh, this and the RFID tag is powered on and, uh, and the tag is powered on and uh, it has some information uh, which uses the built-in BJT uh, which first the coil according to the data it wants to send and uh, and it's it basically damps this voltage the uh, radar voltage and that's how that communicates uh, these uh, communicate we're talking about passive tags uh, basically there are three type of tags uh, active tag passive tag and uh, semi passive tag so basically what an active tag is active tag has its own battery and it used uh, it has a better uh, range uh, this one, the passive tag doesn't have much range because uh, it uses its power, like the RFID reader's power, uh, to power itself. And the semi-passive tag has uh, uh, is this is the combination of the uh, active and passive RFID readers. It uh, has a better range than uh, the passive tag, but uh, worse range than uh, uh, the active tag. So uh, we're talking about the contactless payment method. So uh, we'll stick to that. And this basically the uh, N uh, the contactless payment method uses the uh, NFC. Uh, NFC stands for near field communication. So what that is uh, like it's it basically has a, like a few centimeters of uh, gap uh, to make it work and it uses a frequency of 13.56 megahertz so uh, that's uh, that's basically it and on this paper yeah so it uses a 13.56 megahertz uh, frequency frequency range and it uh, it's like uh, it basically uses some uh, uh, be, uh, what's called the ISO 14443-4 uh, uh, standard and the payment limit is also limited to mostly like $30 and uh, yeah it's not that much but uh, it's $30 so uh, in case uh, someone <laughs> uh, gets uh, you through that they won't get too much uh, out of you Fortunately, I have an RFID uh, reader and it's coil. So this is RDM 6300. Uh, yeah, it focuses here. And this is a very well-made coil. So it comes with a card like this. This is a 125 kilohertz uh, card. Uh, this is also 125 kilohertz. And it connects to the Arduino and uh, this is how you make it work. You can make it work some other way as well, I think. And I do have a 13.56 megahertz card, uh, but I do uh, I do not have a 13.56 megahertz uh, reader. But uh, you get the idea. And this is how uh, payment uh, works, like the contactless payment. You basically do is uh, you hold your card, like for example, let's say. this box is a reader and in front of the reader and uh, it, it you make the payment and then you put that back in your pocket but sometimes uh, you might be like uh, scammed uh, through this card as well but in in order to protect yourself there are some uh, let's say uh, protective cases or whatever you call it RFID they have an RFID blocking plate so you could be saved that way but uh, the best thing about this card is uh, there is no uh, number uh, so that's the best way like you could protect yourself uh, against uh, a lot of scams so yeah 
so that is for today i hope you learned uh, something uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe and i guess i'll see you in the next video peace